Hi everyone, welcome to another Next Hacker Short. Today we're going to be talking about bookmarks and we're going to be doing a project together about uh, <laughs> primates and gorillas to illustrate how you might use them. So first things first, like any good uh, research project, we're going to jump onto Wikipedia. So control L and we're going to then type in wiki gorilla. Jump over to the gorilla page and we're going to bookmark this individual page um, just like that. Pretty cool. We have a hotkey control XRM and it says, all right, bookmark this page. What, what kind of keys do you want? Sounds good. And we're also going to do the keyword primate because our project is about primates and we want everything to be associated together. Press return. And as you can see at the bottom of the window, two bookmarks were saved. Magic. So, of course, we need to check out a few other things. So let's uh, click on chimpanzees and bonobos. And um, let's click on something else just to spice things up a little bit. Animal architecture. And uh, apparently a predator of gorillas is the leopard. I did not know that. So now <laughs> we can take all of these tabs from our extensive research. Of course, we read through all of these things. Uh, we read through the chimpanzee page, the bonobo page, whatever, and we can bookmark them at once. So we say bookmark current uh, buffer URL or whatever, and that is going to query us for a set of tabs uh, or buffers, if you will, and say, hey, um, you, which of these do you want to bookmark? So I'm going to select um, all of them with control A or meta A rather. And then we're going to unselect gorilla because we've already bookmarked gorilla. And then to all of them, we're going to add our project uh, tag, which is the primate project. Sounds like it could be a band. All right. Uh, materials. Robo. So what just happened there was it asked me one at a time Hey, for this tab, what do you want the um, the tags to be for the bookmark? For this tab, what do you want the tabs to be for the bookmark? And it just went through until I finally finished tagging all of them. So now, let's say we've moved on, we've done our, our little bit of our gorilla research, and uh, let's pretend that we closed all of our open tabs and we did another project about snow leopards or something like that. And we're coming back to our gorilla project. So. How do we get back to it? Well, the cool thing is in Next, because we've got all these tags, we can open up all of the bookmarks at once. So we're gonna press Control Space um, and run our bookmark command, um, which happens to be set URL from bookmark. And then we're gonna select uh, things that are primate specific, because I remember it was the primate project. So we're gonna type in primate, and it happens to be that most of our uh, bookmarks match. Obviously, this is a contrived scenario. And then I'm going to select return. And just like that, all of my tabs are populated with my uh, lovely primate project. <laughs> so beyond just you know accessing and manipulating groups of tabs um, and, and buffers based on tags, um, you can also do fun little stuff. Like you can, of course, have a panel. Um, that shows your bookmarks and it'll do the same kind of grouping with your tags. You see it has bonobo here, has primate here, um, animals is another group, you know, cause there was two, two other bookmarks that I had. You can of course view that separately on a, on a, a standalone buffer as well. And things are going to be broken down by tag again. So the primate project you can manage things here. And, um, Importantly, this is actually a plain text file, so you can open it up and you'll see that it's just a bunch of S expressions that show all of the um, all of the bookmarks and you can edit them with any program of your liking and they are in a XDG uh, compatible location. It's like it's a logical location. It's not just scattered on your computer somewhere. So if I say edit file and I say local share next and then bookmarks.list it's going to bring up our file and you're going to see all the bookmarks that we just made 
it's just literally just a list of s expressions um, well or it's or if you think about it it's really one s expression but anyways um, you got your tags here you got your URL when it happened some other metadata and you can populate this list manually you can import bookmarks from other browsers you can do whatever you want and uh, I think it's a pretty neat way of handling your configuration or your configurable data if you will um, so I hope this was a little bit useful to you. You can imagine, you know, instead of maybe a primate project, you have a project about linked lists or a project about uh, some sort of uh, algorithm. It could be pretty cool. And you can kind of keep things organized even as your bookmarks scale and you, you don't ever lose anything of importance. So thanks for your time. And I hope it was useful. Bye-bye.